Stop complaining about our shit. Stop complaining about Atlanta. If you don't like being here, you can leave. Uh, yeah, no one's up here. See. I don't know. All right, guys, I'm back with another video. All right, so. All right, so I'm back with another video, y'all. Back with another video, y'all. This is kind of like, this is kind of like a rant and everything, kind of like telling y'all like how I think and how I feel about this, because I feel like. This is like moving to Atlanta, like moving to Atlanta, like my views, my viewpoints, me living in Atlanta, just different videos like that. I mean, different views like that. Like for me personally, I've been here all my life. So I feel like I'm the perfect person to explain this and really go to go in detail with you on this, like really giving you all like my experience and everything like, and I feel like this would be a good video for people who are subscribed to my channel and whatnot, because you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm here to do. That's what I really want to do. So I was on TikTok. I saw a video. I saw a video of um, a girl explaining her. Experience. A C-class Mercedes, and people still gonna be like, "Oh shit, you winning?" But here, that's not shit. So it's like the females are all trying to keep up with the Joneses. Everybody's so fake, and the dudes are so much more aggressive. Like Detroit people are more aggressive. Like. Let's say you're trying to make a new friend, or let's say like you try, you looking at somebody too long. They be like, what the f "Is you looking at?" But at the end of the day, also, if a dude approach you in Detroit and you're acting like you're not interested or something like that, they're gonna leave you the fuck alone. Here, if you act like you're not interested in a dude, I think a lot of people move here for the wrong intentions. Like they're either here to do like to be something that they're not, and they say that we're something that we're not but they haven't lived here long enough to know how we are. So that's my main thing. I'm really pretty much defending Atlanta because I'm just like, y'all not about to trash Atlanta and you are moving here. Like we literally have like the best weather we have, like a lot of things offers best music. A lot of people blow up here and everything like that. But I just think that like Atlanta, we get a bad rep. Like for Atlanta, people who live here, it's just not fair. Like exactly, they don't know how we work. They don't know how we do things. They don't know how we eat. They just kind of see like different types of lifestyle and they expect it to be a certain way and it's not that way so one of the main things she was saying was that like a lot of the people here are fake that's not true like that's not true one thing about Atlanta though i will say is that it's a lot of different people here like for networking purposes like it's a lot of people who literally have not lived here their whole lives like they moved from another city to here so that's another thing that we deal with as being an atlanta native is a lot of people are not from here like they were not born here they didn't go to school out here all that so that's one thing we deal with but another thing too is that we are very i me me personally i'm not but i've noticed living here is that it's very group base like it's very like friendship based we get along with each other and everything like that but also it's grouped up it's a lot of different groups here and you kind of got to get in where you fit in and a lot of times too living here a lot of people are on their best game like their best behavior you know what I'm saying whether if, it, if you're in the fashion scene they on their stuff if you're on the underground scene they're on their stuff on the music scene they're on the things the girls here are on their on their grind because they know how competitive it is here and i think a lot of times people think like just because this is the south that atlanta is not competitive atlanta is very very competitive like that's one thing i would have to say is very very competitive but we're not fake a lot of times we do know when somebody isn't from here and they're trying to make it it's like a, a high uh density city like there's a lot of people here a lot of times people just think that like oh they're untouchable they you know they don't know how to move in a certain type of city Sometimes people just think they can get away with here in atlanta or like a lot of times people aren't going to notice like it's a lot it's a way you have to move like yes it's nice here but at the same time not everybody's going to be on a tight time and where they're just going to accept you and they friend you y'all just going to be the best friends and everything like that y'all can't be gullible like it's like i think a lot of times people from different cities come here and they think what they do in their city is okay here or they feel as though that we don't know what's going on we know what's going on we have a way of doing things you have to get to our way of doing things this is not about y'all like this is not uh how you want to like 
this isn't y'all city. You know what I'm saying? So when you come here, know how you want to move, but move on our agenda, like how we do things. Like y'all don't y'all don't come to a city and try to take it over. Like you don't come to a city and just immediately just think, oh, this is gonna work just because you you. Like no, you have to either prove yourself, you have to figure out like what your talent is, what you do. It's not that, you know what I'm saying? It's not, it's it's a growing city, but at the same time, like we don't owe you nothing. A lot of times people who move here, who do not live here, think that we owe them something. They think that like, we just supposed to do things the way they wanna do just because they're them. Like no, here is competitive. People are on a, on a thing. They're doing their thing. They're very talented here. That's another thing that I think people forget. Even the people who weren't born here is the talent level here is so insane. Like people here are either, if they don't have a supercar, they're going to get a supercar. Uh, it doesn't matter the race. A lot of times, like it's a lot of black people here, but a lot of times people think that just because you may be a certain race, you're not going to be as successful. No, these kids here are on a different type of grind. They grind a lot harder. They do a lot of things and they're always elevated. So if you, if that is something that intimidates you, this may not be the city for you, bro. Like a lot of times people are just like, oh, and Lynn is this, Lynn is that. And oh, I'm just gonna move here. It's gonna be so easy. I'm gonna be the top of the food chain. No, bro, it's always growing and people are always doing better. You know what I'm saying? This is it's very motivating, but at the same time, just know that we not stupid. Like, I, I think that's another thing too. Like people who live in Atlanta, like people from Atlanta and they kind of have a preconceived no, notion of how we are and we don't know what's going on. That's not true. That is furthest from the truth. Like people from here, from Atlanta, we know what's going on. We up on game. And then two, it's like, hold on, I don't want to mess it up. Like I, we, we up on game and then we know how to move and we know how our city work. You know what I'm saying? Like people just come here and they just they just get so like consumed by the city life and how things is and yes it's nice and everything, but at the same time, not everybody is gonna be nice. Not everybody's gonna be at the high time and to take care of you. You know what I'm saying? People who move here just wanna be taken care of, they want things to be easy, they just wanna have a lot of friends. And that is possible, but what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? Like, what are you doing for life? What's your lifestyle like? What do you have to offer? It's a lot of people who move here who have negative experiences and they have nothing to offer or they don't stand out from anybody else. So this is like, why should we cater to you? Like, why should we just be all like happy-go-lucky all the time just because you graced us with your presence? Like, it don't work like that. And I feel like a lot of times that's what I deal with is that people just I don't know this is go about the wrong way moving to a new city like yes it's a big city yes I it's a very nice city I advise you to try to move here if you can because it's very nice the weather is is immaculate the weather is great the views are great you know what I said views are great everything like that but at the same time don't try to run our city you know what I'm saying don't try to come here and run our city we we are doing a great job of running our city and how we want it to be ran so don't try to come here and do your thing you can do your thing but at the same time don't step on nobody's toes like that's another thing yeah but what else was the girl talking about she was saying uh the club scene everything like that like girls would be nice to her and then they won't really be nice that's anywhere obviously but if you go into a club that's a certain type of crowd anyway like you shouldn't be trying to make friends like that in the club you know what I'm saying? You got to keep your guard up. You can't keep your guard down. And then, too, it's a lot of women here. It's a lot of women that like live here. It's a lot of colleges here. It, it's a great city. Like, it's great. So don't ever forget that. But at the same time, just know that, like, <laughs> you people going to have their stuff together. You know what I'm saying? If you're in a club scene, they hair going to be a certain type of way. They're going to have a type, certain type of car. They're going to attract a certain type of guy and everything like that. So if you are looking for a specific type of person, they are going to be in it. No matter what part you go to, it's always something to get into. You know what I'm saying? It's always something to do. It's always a great time. So never forget that. And then also too, a top timing where we get along, while we get along with each other so well. Why, like, you know what I'm saying? Why a lot of times people too also talk about like, oh, we get along with each other, um, everything like that. It's because we have a respect for each other. Even if, like, I don't know if it's Southern hospitality, but a lot of other cities don't do this. We respect other people. Like, 
you for us to really argue with you or for us to fight you or for something like that it's nine times out of ten it's not for no reason you know what i'm saying like a lot of times people like to do rude stuff we don't do rude stuff to people you know what i'm saying especially for the men too like we don't do something crazy like you you know what i mean it's not no it's not no blatant disrespect here like you know what i'm saying I, yeah you have your occasions you know what i'm saying people will do that but normally it's just a lot of traffic but people would normally get along We're like we like if we normally if we drive in somewhere we don't want to have a problem we already drove far we was in traffic we pissed off we mad at about traffic we just trying to have a good time like really honestly that's it but we get along because we chilling you know what i'm saying a lot of people from Atlanta is like we chilling like we not doing all no extra stuff we're not we're not trying to like embarrass nobody we're not trying to like one up nobody we just trying to do our the best that we can and then we know that it's strengthening the numbers that's one thing about Atlanta is like we know it's a strip of numbers and a lot of times Atlanta is very small I let everybody knows each other that's another thing you do not get away with nothing here because everybody know each other everybody know of you everybody somebody heard of you if somebody say they don't know you they know something about you or you know what I'm saying people are aware of what's going on Atlanta is very very small it's very close knit. it's a tight circle everybody have a tight circle we know different circles and everything like that so generally sometimes even celebrities if you know somebody I know somebody of them Atlanta is just real small like that like we real connected so never forget that but yeah we just get along with each other that's another thing if you try to chase your dream we don't ever we don't all that's one thing i could always say we never like snuff on nobody's dream you know what i'm saying like whether it's somebody trying to do music they trying to do creative they trying to do start a business start a youtube we help each other out like that's one thing about it like we never try to make somebody else feel small because of their dream like and I, that's one thing i really love here i don't know if other places are like this but like we people may be in competition with you but at the end of the day still got a respect for you of like you grinding out you doing your thing you trying to chase your dream like we don't never stump you out for that like we make sure that we stand by you you know what i mean and that's another thing that's how the music scene is here too is that because a lot of people do music here it's like if we know that you from atlanta and we if you was born here or you know certain things about atlanta we gonna collab with you because we know how hard it is you know what i'm saying we would rather work with you than somebody else we really don't know like that you know what i'm saying and a lot of times they don't even be on our music stuff because Atlanta's so small, everybody know each other. So you gonna run into the same type of person or you either gonna date somebody who knows somebody or you gonna go to a club or go to a party who knows somebody us, somebody who know your friend. So it's like, it's hard to beef here too because your friend may be friends with somebody you beefing with and you might not know it. Or if it's not that, you may date somebody who uh, is an ex of somebody that you like. It's, it's real small, so it gets real conflict of interest and stuff like that is real like it can get like that it can it just one thing that's about it really close in the sense like a proximity like you know what i'm saying i might not like this person but my friend may know this person or that might be his cousin or that might be his brother that might be his they went to school together so it's like it's a lot of that and you know what i'm saying you got to either make a decision to cut everybody off or you know what i'm saying work out your differences but that's one thing about it like don't forget it you know, say we stick together. It's like it's real, it's real tight like that. But um, but yeah. Other than that, Atlanta, Atlanta's really cool. Uh, if it's just like it's a dream chaser city, I would say. Like no matter what, even if you want some other demon time, some other type of stuff, you gonna find somebody who gonna respect your grind. Like that's one thing that we do is like we match energy. You know what I'm saying? We know you like music, or we know you do music, and we like your music. We gonna collab with you. We gonna check it out. We gonna give you a chance because we know that like here, the right eye see your music or right um eye see your visuals or hear your music or whatever like that. It's up. You know what I'm saying? It's it's if it's moving around the city, it's gonna move around everywhere. That's how Atlanta is. Like if it was if it's working here, it's gonna work anywhere. That's just how it go. But that's another thing too. Uh, you know we were connected, but we not rude. You know what I'm saying? We not on a rude type timing like. Um, you know what I'm saying, and then, and then and then that's another thing too. If you are rude, if you're not from here, and you are doing some weird, some weird type intention, you gonna get pressed, you gonna get checked about it, cause this is like, why are you doing? It? Especially the girls here, the girls will fight. One thing here, the girls here are not afraid to fight you, jump you. Don't ever get that. Like, don't, don't, don't ever think that that will not happen. Like, the girls here are ready 
everybody is ready if you bring that energy to us if you don't bring that energy to, to us we chill we cool it we ain't even on that you know so we actually trying to get to know you you know what i'm saying see if you a, a right type fit for like either the friends that we know or we may know somebody who you might be cool with so that's another thing i feel like but other than that yeah the city is real cool everybody real cool it's a lot to do it's always a lot to do i always say that um it's something for everybody here you know what i'm saying it's, and then also in georgia is different parts of georgia that's for everybody you know so everybody can get in where they fit in and we all we together but at the same time it can be separate you know what i'm saying you can separate yourself from certain things and you can move a certain type of way if you want to hopefully the wind not messing up but you can move a certain type of way and everything but just know like don't bring no craziness like don't do nothing like wild to us because we we, we don't want to not like you You're moving here and then complaining about living here and they we you moved here we did not move you over here you decided to move here you know what i'm saying learn how it work learn how we work and go about it or go back to where you you was at like that's just how i go like don't complain you know what i'm saying make it work and then an, oh another thing too bro another thing hold on hold on another thing everything here costs i know everything everywhere costs but like you gotta have your money your money right tight if you think about moving here like bro like whatever you do you gotta be a hundred times good at it because either a lot of other people are doing it or you know what i'm saying <laughs> The cost of what of doing doing uh, the cost of doing stuff is just a lot of money, bro. It's just a lot of money, bro. Like it's really, really a lot of money, but it's worth it. You know what I'm saying? Like if you're looking for people who are on the same type of energy on you, like really trying to grind and make it, this a place to be. But if you're not, if you're just kind of playing around, this may not be your cup of tea. You know what I'm saying? If you playing this ain't they're saying it because it's people people trying to pay bills out here people trying to do their thing trying to make their music they don't have time they don't have time for you to be playing around with them so uh yeah that's that's pretty much it you know what i'm saying stop complaining about our city stop complaining about atlanta if you don't like being here you can leave uh the sports we would have probably another video about the sports same thing i love the baseball you know the baseball they go crazy but I like the Mets too. But yeah, that's. I really wanted to make this video because I am an Atlanta, Atlanta native, so I can say this. I can say what I want. I can say how I feel because I've been here all my life. You know what I'm saying? I've been here all my life. Everything like that. So it's like I can, I can do this. I can, I can speak. I can speak on the Atlanta thing because I've been here. A lot of times people making videos, they ain't even been here all their life. They saying how they think about it. But I've been here, so I can say that. So that's that's pretty much the end of the video. I just want to give y'all some tips on that. Like give y'all like my opinion. I'm probably gonna do more videos up here and um like more talking videos and everything like that and then y'all can ask me questions or whatnot but if you like the video make sure you like the video subscribe to content for more content and um also leave me down any questions down below about atlanta what have you heard about atlanta tell me what you think about atlanta and all that don't say nothing crazy but yeah just tell me what you think and everything like that but i'll see you in my next video thanks so much for watching i'll be back i'm out